questions. <laughs> when was the first time what? Hey, let me put this down. Let's read. Realized what adoption the first time I realized what adoption, I think when I was around, what, like 10 or 11 when you told me? Yeah. What was the first time you told me? Day one, I told you. It wasn't a secret. Well, yeah. I went from a black family to a white family. So here, I'll give you guys a little background on me, just so you guys have a better understanding of what the hell's happening in this video. Pretty much, I was adopted, at, well, I was put into a foster care at birth. My mom maternally abused me off heroin, and so they placed me with a black foster family in East LA till I was around five. Then I got adopted by this lovely lady, which you can't see in the background, but she's staring at me intensely right now. So over, I found out, I think it was it two years ago, that I had, I may have had two older sisters that I didn't know. And so pretty much what this video is about is uh, my grandma, actual blood grandma reached out to me and I found out I have a sister, a younger brother and an older brother and I'm meeting my sister today. Um, but how are you feeling about meeting her today? Like what? Nervous. Nervous? It's cool though. Yeah. I've been video calling her a lot, which I feel like has taken off the, like, the tension for the most part. And we're already, I'm already ripping her and stuff, but <laughs> no, it's a, it's a lot to take in, honestly. How do you feel about them not, her not knowing about you until now? Ooh, I think it's, it's dope. I think it's better than finding out like when I'm like 60, 50 years old. So it's better late than never, I guess you'd say in that way. I got off work and uh, came in and she had like a weird smile on her face. I was like, why are you smiling like that? And she's like, I have some news. She's like, you want to go put your stuff down in the room and come back out? And I pretty much so was like, no. To. I was like, I don't need to settle in. Let me just sit down. And then she pretty much told me that. Like, my grandma reached out and then she started reading along the lines pretty much that her daughter is Lisa Price. She did have a drug addiction around the same time when I was born. And my grandma and grandpa adopted my sister at when she was two years old in 1992 because of the drug addiction and everything. And then from there in 1995, she had me, but she wasn't in a relationship with her mom, my grandma, anymore. So I was the secret and just got put into a foster family. So, and that, that's an interesting take on that too. What I say to you, I was like, I was like the ghost child. Yeah. I'm probably a ghost child. Yeah, that's wild. So have you talked to your birth mom yet? No. My, uh, I guess right now I'm waiting for her to be sober at least for five years. I think right now she's in treatment and stuff right now. She's getting treatment or whatever the hell you call it. I want her to be like, you know, five years at least maximum, her being sober and I can have a relationship with it. But right now, no, I just want to be my sister. That was my first thing. So when, obviously when my grandma found out I existed, because my grandma reached out to her on Ancestry.com thinking it was for her and she was just trying to find her grandparents. But it ended up like she ended up finding me. My, my mom was like, yeah, like this is for my son's account and all that. And so she found out pretty much that day that she had a grandson. But then dude, it's crazy because I just found out, I think it was like last week, mm -hmm. like the first time I video called uh, my sister, that she was just like, I don't know, the, no, I was messaging her. The first time she like reached out to me, like messaging when she found out about me. Like that day, um, she let me know I have a younger brother that's like 19 years old. I'm like, calm down. And then I have a, a and then brother. then she just kept dropping other ones. And I was like, yeah. And then I have another half brother that's like in his 30s and like all that shit too. So I was just like, oh, so anymore? <laughs> I've only known you about like a year and a half, almost two years. And since then, this is something you've yeah. kind of mentioned on and off yeah. about wanting to find your birth family, just at least to know who they are. Mm -hmm. And Knowing kind of the, the pain you were in from that at that time, like yeah. I could hear it in your voice and just, you know, hearing like your, your backstory and stuff. Yeah. If you could go back in time, even just two years ago and let that Geo know what's going on today Ooh. and what he would find out, what would you tell him well, what a, to make see, him? This, this is his job right here. You should get into this, bro. On the spot. Man. Um, honestly, that's a great question. I don't think I would. No. Nope. I wouldn't say shit. Like, I wouldn't say shit. Because then it takes away from the, the element of the surprise. The element of surprise, yeah. Gotcha. I think the timing of this was so perfect. It was so perfect. 2020 has been such a shit year. Yeah. This and is then, a great way to end it. Yeah. Yeah, and, but you're more mature now than you were two years ago. Oh, dude. 
And I, I could have met her when she was. I, I love you. Um, <laughs> but when my sister was doing drugs, like right. hardcore drugs, I'm happy I didn't. I didn't meet her at that time. Yeah, because we could have had a, like a bad relationship. Yeah. We could have had a toxic relationship. Because I for sure would have got into it yeah. with her probably. I think the timing is just. And she's like sober now. She's been sober for a while. And then working and stuff, and so you know, you know who you time. are now, and you're secure in who you are. Mm -hmm. Then you were two, three years ago. I've seen a big change in just a year and a half. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now I'm dude, it's just I'm happy. Yeah. That's all I could be is I'm happy. How do you feel about this whole situation? Are you having mixed feelings? Are you happy? Are you are you nervous as well? No. No. I am totally. Only 100% delighted. I'm not insecure. I'm not fearful. I am just so thrilled. I think it's just awesome. She said, your shorts are too short. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Jay. <laughs> oh, that's my, that's my friend. What are you talking about? <laughs> Dude, I don't want to be here. Go away! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, fool? <laughs> 25 fucking years, bro. 25 fucking years. <laughs> Ain't that something? So you just kicked it on me for how long? Yeah, for a while. We were making fun of you. Dead ass? <laughs> you and your shorts. <laughs> what you got to you while you're walking for? Well, speaking? Yeah. Dude, that's fucking weird. I know. You're freaking hard. I was nervous. Why? <laughs> come meet, come meet my mom. <laughs> God, y'all are related. It's crazy. <laughs> With the socks and everything. Like, you were on that the camera the and you're like, this is socks. Yeah, yeah the first time it was the then I grow up the shorts. Hi. Are you Krista? Yes. Nice my new daughter. <laughs> I told you I was going to call you my daughter. <laughs> oh, I really appreciate it. Oh. Oh. You can call me. I love you. Hi. I love you. How long was the drive? Oh. <laughs> 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. So emotional. Oh, no. 30 minutes? Oh, not too bad. You can take off the mask. <laughs> you don't Just wear as much it. as he does, do you? What do you mean? Uh, sometimes. Okay. Really? <laughs> I'm fucking nervous, bro. This is weird. So every day you just wake up, you're like, oh yeah, I have a sister. Bro, I was like, I was telling him, I was like, when you're on the way, I was like, bro, it's like I ordered a sister off fucking Prem like Amazon Prime or something. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> My mom, she took me on a walk. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, are you mentally okay right now? And I'm like, yeah, and she's like, because I need to tell you something, like, great, who died, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then she told me about you. <laughs> the way she says that. About you. About, about, about me? Yeah. We have the same nose. Yeah. So you said that you were you were angry, obviously. So, like, kind of, if you don't mind, kind of oh, yeah, digging deeper weird, into right? that. Yeah. No, 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 no. Um, it's it's I'm understandable. I'm just mad that my biological mom did this to like another them? kid. Yeah. I, cause I already have, I know that I have issues with my biological mom and and I know what it's like and then like when um, she told me like a little bit background on his story I just got really mad at her because I felt like it was really unfair um, but then I was really excited because I've always wanted a sibling like a real sibling I did <laughs> I told her we're in the that. same boat I told him that because I knew about uh, our young, younger brother, um, but I, he knows I exist, but he's never reached out, and I knew what kind of life he was living, and I remember when I first found out about that brother, um, I really wanted to meet him to show him that there's another way to live before he got... <laughs> <laughs> This is your brother. <laughs> Dude, I hit the shit out of my head. That hurts so bad. <laughs> Why can't we have Bro. this emotional, serious <laughs> moment? And you have to go and fuck it up. <laughs> trying to step over the camera, like the angle. I was here. <laughs> it was so awkward. Like, what was her reaction? 
Like I knew this was gonna come back and haunt me. Uh, I, well, oh, okay. So, um, so when my mom called her, um, she was like ashamed, like embarrassed, you know? Um, and she feels like a horrible person. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave that at that. <laughs> I told you, uh, you know, it was a lie, and it just got bigger and bigger, and the bigger it gets, the harder it is to tell. I think she had a lot of shame because of, like, me, you know, like, she, you know, I was raised with her for the first two years, and she couldn't get her shit together, and, um, you know, and had to give me up. I don't think she's, like, if I'm being honest, I don't think she ever wanted to be a mom. Yeah, not everybody. And, and that's fine, because <laughs> I'm glad I had the mom that I grew up with mm -hmm. and I'm sure Gio too that's why I thanked you because I was you know hearing like his situation the first five years like I can't imagine do you want to or curious do you want to do a whole DNA thing and make sure that you're both 100% or yes and no yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm I feel too. like it would be cool to know um, but at the same time I don't think it would matter no I think he's still my brother yeah, yeah. It's what? crazy for me because it's like I had an idea I had a sister. You had no idea you had another brother. None. Yeah. Okay. You look high. <laughs> you have the same eyes sound. as me. <laughs> That's a horrible picture. Can you like move your arm or something? Sit up. Pretend like you like love her and sit. <laughs> God sit damn, up. Gio. Sit up. Put your arm somewhere. I don't love nobody. <laughs> Dead inside. <laughs> Your Take a fucking nice picture. <laughs> <Your sister. laughs> like the new baby was waiting for that to come out. <laughs> I, was I was trying to hold it back. Thank I'm gonna you. yell at him. Thank Go, you. take the photo. Bye bye. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> she was still on the phone, <laughs> and then she all that commotion in the back. Take like, a fucking picture. <laughs> <laughs> I love your sister. <laughs> What's up, big sis? <laughs> I thought you said it was a bitch. Stop it. <laughs> that's, honestly, that's the best way to introduce people to my sister. <laughs> I have brothers. I wasn't, I was barely listening. <laughs> she makes excuses. She flexed on you. <laughs> what she said? She said, I have brothers. <laughs> and you know that. I have brothers too, but and I just don't know them. probably grew up with them. <laughs> She's like, she flexed on you, she flexed on you too, you're my sister, stupid. <laughs> You've only known about it for like two days. Two days. Yeah, she's all trying to flex. <laughs> I got that on camera. Wow. <laughs> I just started recording too. And the first thing out of your mouth, you're so pretty. <laughs> Giovanni's Pizzeria, how may I help you? I told you my joke. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Good, the dude that finally talked to you, it does sound like a pizza parlor. Yes, <laughs> and I'm not Italian in any sort of way, apparently. Yeah, I guess so. Are you having fun with Crystal? Yeah, this has actually been a, a lovely day so far. Well, lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like Crystal? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> she stole all my presents. I was the main present guy. Here we go. And then she was born, and she took all the presents that I would have got. <laughs> all right, well, I'll stay in touch. I'll get your number from Sweet. Crystal Ball. Okay. Crystal Ball. Crystal, 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 Crystal. Crystal. Hey, what, do you have any other nicknames for Crystal? No, just... <laughs> all right, love you. Bye. Bye. All right, love you guys. Take love care. You too. All right, bye. <laughs> Well, that was go. the best first conversation. <laughs> Dude, he was just ripping yeah, you. I know. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Can you even see his face? It's so dark in here. Oh, there's the hat. No, don't take the hat off. <laughs> huh? Let me see you without your hat. No, don't. Oh, yeah. It's horrible. It's color. It's fading it's away. It's horrible, Mom. We're... Is, it, is it a dye or is it a... No, I'm, I'm a ginger. No, no it's, it's a, a dye. dye. It's a die. <laughs> well, it's finally nice to meet you through FaceTime. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He keeps, he keeps tripping out because <laughs> I keep calling you mom. Um, <laughs> she's mom. Well, we gave her the option a long time ago. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. I chose mom and dad. Yeah, and I don't I don't see why she wouldn't take that up op like that option. Except for when I don't get my way. She told me if I get another tattoo, I can't. But you're screwed because you're just filled with tattoos. I don't have any tattoos. <laughs> yes, you do. Your mother already told me. I have one. No, she told you. She told me many. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> On your face and your neck, I'm fine. No, no neck or face tattoos. Thank God.